Even if the majority of royals make an effort to steer clear of customary wedding presents and instead request charitable contributions be made in their honor, this doesn't stop people from showering them with strange and unnecessary gifts. The royals most certainly do not lack in terms of wealth or things. In fact, given that they could purchase everything they desired for themselves, who would even know what to buy for them? Despite this, supporters in politics, the general public, and even family make extravagant and odd offerings for a royal member. Purchasing gifts can be quite difficult, but consider the pressure involved in selecting the ideal present for a royal. We've compiled the 30 strangest royal wedding presents in today's video. Number 1. A Bull One of the most unusual gifts was given to Harry and Meghan by their wedding guests, in my opinion. On behalf of the newlyweds, Pita India adopted a frail and injured Indian bull. Mary, a cross between Harry and Meghan, was given to Pita India, who will live out the remainder of his days in a serene sanctuary in Maharashtra, India. Number 2. A statue of a great Canadian who was a soldier, a doctor, and a poet. Lieutenant Colonel John McRae 1872 to 1918, was not only a soldier and a doctor, but also a poet and the author of the tragic, evocative wartime poem In Flanders Fields, which begins, In Flanders Fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row. Brigadier General James Selby, Colonel Commandant Royal Regiment of Canadian Artillery, gave the Queen a statuette of Macrae in October. The sculpture, a scale model of the one installed in Ottawa in May of 2016, shows McRae composing his poem. Number 3. A Wheel of Cheese A 1,000-pound wheel of cheese was given as a gift to Queen Victoria and Prince Albert in 1840. The cheese, which came from the milk of 750 cows, weighed more than 500 kilograms. The farmers who produced the cheese then requested that it be displayed after the queen accepted the gift. Sadly, the queen resisted taking it back after the exhibit was finished. Number 4. A Tandem Bike At the time of Prince William and Kate's wedding in April of 2011, when Boris Johnson was serving as acting mayor of London, he gave the couple a tandem bike in the image of his infamous Boris bikes. On the wedding day, he told a gathering in Trafalgar Square, I look forward to seeing the newlyweds on tandem wheels as they start their new life in Anglesey. It is unknown whether the couple ever ended up using their unique bike. Number 5. The Ingredients for a Wedding Cake The 1947 wedding of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip took place when food rationing was still in effect. The Australian Girl Guides Association, who gave the newlyweds all the ingredients they would require, nevertheless helped the pair have the ideal wedding cake. Number 6. Five Notebooks, including one that belonged to the husband's ex-wife. Just three weeks after his fourth marriage to Anne of Cleves was declared null and void in July of 1540, Henry VIII wed Catherine Howard, his fifth wife. He sent Catherine a collection of five small girdle books, or jewel-encrusted notebooks, as a wedding gift. Unfortunately, planning a wedding in less than a month doesn't seem to provide much time for checking small details, like whether your initials and those of your ex-wife still appear stamped on the wedding gift you just gave to your new husband. Yes, one of Catherine's books contained the letters H and I in black enamel on the front cover, indicating the book was likely given to Jane Seymour by Henry at some point in the past, I standing in for J in the Tudor period alphabet. Unfortunately, the worst thing Henry did to poor Catherine wasn't even re-gifting his deceased wife's possessions. Catherine was murdered at the age of 19 in February of 1542 on a false accusation of adultery with her distant cousin Thomas Culpepper after a marriage that lasted just over a year. Number 7. A small wooden chest engraved with knotted thistles A seemingly ordinary oak chest that belonged to a Scottish amateur furniture collector from Aberdeen was discovered to be a magnificent 500-year-old royal relic in 2014. A devotional prayer book created to commemorate James IV of Scotland's marriage to Margaret Tudor, the eldest daughter of Henry VII of England, the chest's odd engravings, which included a lover's knot constructed of intertwined thistles, 
matched those in the book and the older sister of Henry VIII. After decades of conflict, the so-called Thistle and the Rose marriage in August of 1503 brought the Tudor and the Stuart dynasties together. The chest was reportedly commissioned as a wedding gift to commemorate the event. Number 8. Handspun Lace For their wedding on November 20, 1947, Prince Elizabeth and Prince Philip received more than 2,500 gifts from individuals and organizations around the globe. A piece of cotton lace that Mahatma Gandhi spun himself and embroidered with the words Jai Hind, which means victory for India because India had recently won its independence from the British Commonwealth, is one of these more well-known gifts. The concept was presented to Gandhi by Lord Mountbatten, according to Pamela Hicks, a close friend of Elizabeth's and the daughter of Lord Mountbatten, Philip's uncle and Prince Charles's dependable mentor. But even so, Queen Mary, Elizabeth's grandmother, initially took it for a loincloth and thought it was indelicate. Aside from misunderstandings, the couple found significant meaning in the gift, which Queen Elizabeth presented to Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in 2018 during his visit to the UK. Number 9. The Wine Enthusiast's Version of a Transformer a wine cooler made of brass and steel in the shape of a grasshopper that can be turned into a drinks table was given to Queen Elizabeth II by French President Georges Pompidou in 1972. This went on display in 2002 in conjunction with the Queen's Golden Jubilee, together with some 200 other notable gifts that Queen Elizabeth had received throughout the years. Number 10. Millions of dollars worth of gifts from the Persian Gulf According to a New York Times report, the Queen and Prince Philip received millions of dollars worth of gifts from their Arab hosts during the 18-day goodwill tour of the Persian Gulf in 1979. Among them were a pear-shaped pearl set in a natural oyster, a silver model of an Arab ship, a solid gold palm tree that stood 18 inches tall and was covered in pearls, an amethyst-studded tray, a gold coffee jug shaped like a falcon with amethyst talons and three jeweled gold swords, intended specifically for Prince Philip. Number 11. Gifts from Michelle Obama A list of official gifts received by Queen Elizabeth in 2015 included a gift box from the former First Lady of the United States that contained lemon verbena tea, a candle, two small pots of honey, and a jar of honey butter, homemade from the White House kitchen garden, and a Tiffany & Co. silver honeycomb and bee bud vase. Number 12. Too much salt? What is that? The British Virgin Islands governor also gave the Queen a bag of salt in 2015 as a gift. This present was a nod to the BVI's custom of giving its monarch a bag of salt as a tax on the minerals mined on Salt Island, one of the islands in the BVI. In celebration of her 90th birthday, the people of the BVI also gave this present to Queen Elizabeth in 2016. Number 13. Something for the Woof Woof The Queen is known for her affection for dogs, so it's not unexpected that she's gotten a lot of presents for or in connection with her cherished canine pets. One such present from the British people came in the form of a crocheted tea cozy in 2012 that featured Her Majesty and her adored corgis. She also received a crown-shaped dog bed from a Scottish company called Tuffles Dog Beds in 2012. When she visited an Australian old mining town in 2000, she was given a bar of Tilly's Timid Joe Dog Soap. The soap cost £40 and was advertised as having the power to kill fleas and other vermin. Number 14. A model of her firstborn son with postman Pat The Kingdom of Jordan presented Her Majesty with a ceramic statue of Prince Charles and postman Pat in 2016 to celebrate her 90th birthday. The animated series by the same name, concerning the adventures of a fictional postman from a fictional English village, is intended for preschoolers. Number 15. A horse of a different color Joachim Goch, the German president, gave the Queen an acrylic painting by Nicole Liedenfrost in 2015, in which Her Majesty is shown as a young child riding a horse while being cared after by her father. 
The horse is primarily blue in the impressionistic painting, with hints of pink, yellow, and green. It's a strange color for a horse. Business Insider claims the queen exclaimed, along with, that's supposed to be my father, isn't it? Number 16. The statue of the great Canadian who was a soldier, a doctor, and a poet. This one is pretty poignant and not at all odd. It is a homage to a great Canadian. Lieutenant Colonel John McRae, 1872 to 1918, was not only a soldier and a doctor, but also a poet and the author of the tragic, evocative wartime poem In Flanders Fields, which begins, In Flanders Fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row. Brigadier General James Selby, Colonel Commandant, Royal Regiment of Canadian Artillery, gave the Queen a statuette of McRae in October. The sculpture, a scale model of the one installed in Ottawa in May of 2016, shows McRae composing his poem. Number 17. The Queen Elizabeth Land A chain of beacons was lit across the globe in 2002 to commemorate the Queen's Golden Jubilee, celebrating 50 years as monarch. These beacons were placed as far north as 300 miles from the North Pole and as far south as Antarctica. What can top that? She received more than 120,000 gifts during her Diamond Jubilee in 2012, which commemorated her 60 years as monarch, and a 437,708 square kilometer area of Antarctica, which was named in her honor. The size of Queen Elizabeth Land is almost twice that of the UK. Number 18. An empty plot of land on a private Caribbean island. After getting married, Princess Margaret and her new spouse, who is now known as the Earl of Snowdon, took the royal yacht Britannia on a six-week Caribbean tour as their honeymoon. Colin Tennant, a British socialite and aristocrat, gave the couple a piece of land on Mustic, a two-square-mile private island in the Grenadines during that time. Colin Tennant's wife, Anne Coke, served as Margaret's lady-in-waiting. Le Jolio, also known as The Beautiful Waters, is a private villa that Margaret later built on the plot. If you have $21,000 to spare, you can stay there for a week. Number 19. Although it wasn't strictly a bizarre present, the Brits thought it was because they never grasped its significance. On November 20th, 1947, Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip exchanged vows. The events of the wedding day are described in a story written by Lord Mountbatten's daughter, Pamela Hicks, for The Telegraph. She claims that when her parents met Mahatma Gandhi, he informed them he wanted to offer Prince Elizabeth a wedding gift, but couldn't since all of his belongings were elsewhere. Mountbatten responded by suggesting that instead of delivering the crown jewels, he should give a fabric made from the yarn he had spun, and Mountbatten traveled to Britain with the wedding gift. When Queen Mary first saw the gift, she thought it was Gandhi's loincloth and described it as the most indelicate present. It is said that the royal couple never used the gift since they didn't know how to use it. Number 20. Typical Kids' Favorite Gifts Prince Charles received a packet of fairy dust during a November trip around Australia and New Zealand, making it one of the more outlandish gifts listed officially for 2015. Prince Harry also received many unusual gifts when he visited New Zealand in May. Among the presents that the people of New Zealand gave to Harry were a packet of Jaffa cakes, a bag of pineapple lumps, a chocolate fish, a jar of Marmite, and Weetabix cereal. Number 21. An African Forest Elephant from Cameroon Among the many presents that Queen Elizabeth II received from various nations, animals are among the most unusual. The government of Cameroon sent the Queen an African forest elephant as a gift in 1972. The London Zoo received a donation of an elephant by the name of Jumbo. Jumbo's meals during his travel to the UK included bananas, avocados, and sugar. Sadly, it passed away in 1988. Number 22. A Cocker Spaniel William and Kate, like Harry and Meghan, asked for donations to go to a fund in their names. Among the causes they contributed money to were the Zoological Society of London, the Canadian Coast Guard Auxiliary, and an anti-bullying initiative. 
Nonetheless, James, Kate's brother, couldn't help but surprise the happy couple with Lupo, a black cocker spaniel puppy who has since become a cherished member of the family. Number 23. One Ton of Peat when Prince Charles married Lady Diana Spencer in 1981, they received many traditional gifts, including paintings, jewelry, a four-poster bed, and an Art Deco Cartier clock. Charles's interest in agriculture was picked up by a local village council in Somerset, in southwest England, who opted to send the prince one ton of high-quality peat for use on his Gloucestershire estate. Number 24. A Really Lovely Rug when Princess Anne, Queen Elizabeth II's daughter, married Captain Mark Phillips in 1973, the members of the British cabinet all pitched in and bought the couple a rug. Like many office-pooled gifts, every member of the cabinet contributed an equal share, which private papers later revealed to be just £10.53 each. The princess wrote each member a personal note, thanking them most warmly for a really lovely rug. When it was revealed that President Nixon and the US government had sent the couple a solid crystal bowl and four gold candlesticks, Principal Private Secretary to the Prime Minister, Sir Robert Armstrong, wryly commented, This makes an old Persian rug look pretty crummy. Number 25. A book on French romances and an essay on warfare. The Earl of Shrewsbury, John Talbot, who traveled with Margaret of Anjou from Normandy to London, gave her a collection of illuminated French poems, folk tales, romances, and political treatises when she wed Henry VI of England in 1445. The Talbot Shrewsbury book, as it is now called, also includes several lengthy treatises on warfare, husbandry, and hunting, as well as a comprehensive enumeration of the laws governing the Order of the Garter. Given that Elizabeth frequently had to rule in place of Henry, it was probably the ideal bedtime book for the ambitious new queen of England. Number 26. A Pair of Koalas When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle got married in May of 2018, they asked that the guests donate to one of seven carefully chosen charities instead of giving them gifts. These organizations included an HIV charity, a coastal ecology charity, and a fund for kids whose parents died in the line of duty. That did not stop a few well-wishers from doing both, among them the New South Wales Regional Parliament. Gladys Berejiklian, the Premier of New South Wales, also named two baby koalas at the Taronga Zoo in Sydney in the couple's honour as a gift from the people of New South Wales, in addition to donating to a nearby conservation foundation in their honour. Number 27. A bespoke James Bond-style cigarette lighter. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's ban on receiving personal gifts were also broken by French President Emmanuel Macron, who gave them a custom gift set from St. Dupont's 007 collections that included two engraved James Bond-style pens and a matching cigarette lighter. A Dupont travel case was given to the royal pair when Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip were married in 1947 by the French president at the time, Vincent Auriol, and the custom has continued ever since. Number 28. Box of Goodies Prince Philip and Princess Elizabeth received gifts from the British public despite rationing. The royal couple also received 500 tins of pineapple, two dozen purses, 12 bottles of slow gin, and 131 pairs of nylon stockings, in addition to a package of apples from their orchard. Number 29. A pair of solid silver kiwis. Many Commonwealth nations donated wedding gifts to Princess Margaret, Elizabeth II's younger sister, and social photographer Anthony Armstrong Jones in 1960 as a gesture of goodwill. Two solid silver kiwis, one with an egg between its legs, were among them and were given to the newlyweds on behalf of the New Zealanders. The models were auctioned off for charity in London in 2006, four years after Margaret's passing. Despite an initial estimate of less than $1,000, they ultimately sold for £36,000, which is equivalent of more than £51,000 or roughly $66,000 today. Number 30. A Land Rover A Land Rover Defender 110 utility wagon was one tangible gift that was given to William and Kate and got immediately donated to charity. 
As the organization sponsor, Prince William wrote the names of 50 different mountain rescue teams from all over the nation on slips of paper and requested Prince Harry to choose one at random. In the end, a team from Powderdale in the English Lake District won the automobile. What do you think about this? If you could give anything to a royal, what would it be? Let us know in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and feel free to share it with your loved ones. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the useful and fascinating films we continue to produce. And don't forget to click the bell button below as well. That way, you wouldn't miss out on anything fresh we come up with. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.